So uh, we have uh, this uh, project. Uh, it's developed in STL. It's uh, part of the STL course. And uh, if um, the project, the WinCC professional project, is not um, closing uh, properly, uh, we may encounter some uh, compiling issue. Uh, let me just. Uh, compile the uh, station, I rebuild all uh, software, and uh, uh, we, uh, it's possible to see that uh, mm, we have this alarm. Um, cannot creation of runtime project failed. Cannot backup the file. And this is, uh, I guess, is a file uh, regarding to the LDF. Yeah, is the file uh, regarding to the regarding to the SQL server? Uh, what can I do here? Uh, it's uh, one solution. I I need to stop the. I need to stop the SQL server from, uh, if I type SQL, we will uh, end up to SQL server 2019 configuration. Manager, so uh, if we stop the SQL server here, we stop the SQL server configuration manager. So now it's possible for us to uh, delete this IM uh, file. Uh, we delete this IM file very easily when the SQL server uh, is not SQL server is not active. So let me just mm, uh, let me reactivate again. and close the project close the project again you want to save changes no now it's possible is it's possible to delete the IAM file very easily and the next step is to stop the uh, there's no need to stop so the file is uh, deleted the file related to the SQL server is deleted now this the SQL server is uh, running and uh, let me just simply uh, open the VCC professional this is a professional project here. And So uh, the project is getting all opened and we move to the project view. In the project view, uh, again, we try to, uh, we try to uh, um, compile uh, and rebuild all software components software rebuild all
So, um, compilation is finished and now it's possible to mm, uh, perform and uh, start this mm, project simulation for the air dryer. So uh, this is the drawer menu, we have the panel, alarm, statistics and uh, let's just uh, simply uh, run the uh, simulation here for the PLC, we have the project for the PLC also, we run the simulation and uh, uh, let's see what uh, would be the initial view so if you encounter some trouble regarding to yeah to configuration So, uh, well, let's just run the virtual CPU. You can see that uh, during the CPU stop to run mode, we have a timer, a startup timer. And this is startup timer, uh, avoid uh, starting immediately the machine. And we need to, to prepare everything before uh, starting the machine. So. This timer will ensure that all electrical uh, components inside the control cabinet is live and after that uh, we have the possibility to uh, put the uh, dryer machine into uh, in run mode so uh, we need to wait until the uh, restart blocking, blocking time is is uh, is passed. So if after the uh, after this time, a startup time is finished, uh, we have the chance to we have a chance to start uh, the driver. That will be part of the course. How the driver is programmed, uh, how the you know action of the drivers are. Uh, send or issued based on the sequence, how the feedback regarding the open or close the status of the uh, each valve is monitored. We, we define a, a statistic uh, a form for the machine and uh, we will report number of starts, number of cycles, uh, runtime meter for number of hours, minutes, seconds and also if some valves has a mechanical problem we um, gather the information if there is a failure regarding of each of these valves uh, 
we report that which uh, valve has the worst uh, record so um, if you acknowledge uh, we will have a chance so the alarm and shutdown is is gone now we have the permissive to start and we can simply uh, start and run the mission uh, but the concept of this video was how to recompile uh, recompile a, an existing project that uh, there are some um, some compilation issue possibly it, it may happen after uh, unsuccessful restart or own unexpected uh, restart uh, please follow us and uh, we will share more videos regarding to these courses how the these machines are designed and uh, how, how how is their operation to give you some ideas thank you for watching